Good evening, everyone, and welcome into another edition of Capital Men's Basketball here on athletics.capital.edu. I'm Charlie Daniels coming to you live from the Capital Center as the Comets get set to play host to the Battling Bishops of Ohio Wesleyan one day before Turkey Day. We hope that you are already starting to enjoy your Thanksgiving Day weekend festivities as that will be in full force tomorrow. In the meantime, we have some hoops for you here on athletics.capital.edu. I'll be bringing you the action today as Capital will look to run its record early on in this season to 3-0, taking on an Ohio Wesleyan team that is 2-1 so far during the 2022-2023 campaign. Let's get you caught up with what each of these teams have done in the last couple of days or so. The last game that Capital played was on last Saturday right here at the Capital Center, and it was a battle of the Comets, if you will, as Capital was able to defeat Olivet, who happens to, earn, uh, happens to have the same nickname as Capital, by a final of 79 to 72. Big game by Carter Combs. We'll talk more about the start that he has had to the season so far, but he showed up big time in that win over Olivet, 18 points, shot 7 to 13 from the field, 2 of 6 from three-point range, also had four assists to boot. Had a very nice game offensively, as did Griffin Dosick, 14 points and eight rebounds, as did Caleb Crawford. He had 12 points and six rebounds. Now, all those guys, you knew that those guys were going to be making a big impact for the Comets this season. A guy that gave the Comets a big boost off the bench, well, that was Justin Nixon, the sophomore forward, from Minster, Ohio, pouring in eight points, nine rebounds, nearly had a double-double coming off of the bench as he was a key component in that win over Olivet. And perhaps the most impressive statistic to come out of that victory, Olivet, the rebounding margin. Capital out-rebounding Olivet 49-35. to Capital was able to maintain dominance on the glass seemingly all game long, leading them to a victory over Olivet. Meantime for Ohio Wesley and they come into this game with an overall record of two and one on the season and so far it's been an up and down campaign for head coach Mike DeWitt and his crew. They began the season with a season opening 79 to 63 win over Buffalo State. This was part of a tournament that was hosted up at John Carroll in University Heights, Ohio. Leading the way for the Battling Bishops, their star player, Jack Clement. 24 points in that win over Buffalo State. And he has not slowed down since then. Unfortunately for Ohio Wesleyan, they lost to John Carroll in the end, 70-55 to to conclude that early season tournament. Clement tallied 22 points. In that loss to the Blue Streaks, but John Carroll was able to get scoring from everybody seemingly on their roster. They were led offensively by Will Yonktek, who had 14 points on 6 of 12 shooting from the field in that win over the battling Bishops. But luckily for Owu, they were able to bounce back. Just this past Saturday, they were at Albion up in Michigan. And it was the battling Bishops that came away with the victory in that one, 73-67. to Again, it was that man, Jack Clement, that led the way for the Battling Bishops offensively. 22 points, 11 rebounds, shot 6 of 14 from the field, 4 of 8 from 3, and also 6 of 8 from the foul line. Also a nice game that time by Tony Carter, who tallied 14 points and grabbed 6 rebounds for the victory for Ohio Wesleyan. So that's where they stand right now, 2-1, and one, and there's no doubt about it. The top player on this Battling Bishops team this year has been Jack Clement, a senior guard from Bell Fountain, Ohio. He has been averaging 22.7 points per game. He is averaging just under seven rebounds per game, shooting 51% from the field, a very solid 42% for three-point range, and he's a good free throw shooter as well, 71% from the charity stripe. It is going to be imperative, absolutely imperative for the Comets to keep Clement in front of them and to at least limit his offensive output if the Capitol wants to have a chance to win this game. Other players that have stood out for Ohio Wesleyan, we already made mention of this, Tony Carter. He's just averaging under 10 points per game, seven rebounds. The junior forward out of Cleveland, Ohio, 
has been very solid from the field, shooting a scintillating 58% from the field, as a matter of fact. The point guard for this Bishops team is Henry Hinkle. He's a sophomore guard out of Powell, Ohio. He's averaging nine points per game, just under three assists per game. And he doesn't make his bones on the court shooting the basketball, only shooting 31% from the field. But he's the guy that often sets up guys like Jack Lament, Tony Carter, and all the other offensive options that this Battling Bishops team has at its disposal. By the way, Henkel, a very good free throw shooter, 88% on the season so far. So those are some of the players that we're going to keep an eye on today for Ohio Wesley. Meantime for Capital, how about the start by Carter Combs? He has come out of the gate very hot offensively, 17 points per game, shooting 56% from the field, and he's also gotten off to a nice start from three-point range, four attempt from beyond the arc, good for 40%. Griffin Dosick has also been very good for Capital early on in the season, averaging 11.5 points per game, shooting nearly 60% from the field. And he's also been a threat from three-point range as well. A very hot 4 of 5 from downtown so far for the senior forward from Anna, Ohio. Hopefully Capital will be able to get the same amount of contributions from their bench. Justin Nixon, the sophomore forward, we may mention of him how he was such a big help off the bench for Capital in that win over Olivet last Saturday. Hopefully he'll be able to come through and provide some toughness out there on out there in the post, I should say. And then maybe we'll see more of Alex Iink, the sophomore guard from Maria Stein, Ohio. Ryan Roth, he is always good to knock down a key three or so. He's shooting 50% from downtown as well. This ought to be a very interesting game as both of these teams are looking to get some momentum heading into the Thanksgiving holiday. After this game, Ohio Wesleyan will be heading to, well, actually will be hosting Heidelberg, excuse me, coming up on Saturday. That's at 3 o'clock. And then Capital, after they get done eating their turkey, playing this game before that, they will head to try in Angola, Indiana, coming up. This Sunday, uh, that game has a scheduled tip-off of 2 p.m. But in the meantime, a basketball game that needs to be played here at the Capitol Center. So glad that we could have you along for the ride this evening. We will take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have the National Anthem, starting lineups, and then eventually the opening tip-off. It's Ohio Wesleyan versus Capitol. Some college hoops just before the Thanksgiving holiday coming up here on athletics.capital.edu.
Once again, good evening, everyone. Welcome into this presentation of Capital Comets Men's Basketball here on athletics.capital.edu. I'm Charlie Danis. Let's get to tonight's starting lineups, beginning with the visiting Battling Bishops of Ohio Wesleyan. At guard, the sophomore from Brook Park, Ohio, number one, David Rice. Also at guard, the six-foot-one sophomore from Powell, Ohio, number two, Henry Hinkle. Also at guard, the six-foot senior from Bell Fountain, Ohio. What a start he's gotten off to offensively this season. Number five, Jack Clement. At forward, the 6'8 junior from Cleveland, Ohio. Number 32, Tony Clark. And rounding out the starting five today for the Battling Bishops is the 6'6 senior forward from Cincinnati, Ohio. Number 33, Grant Spicer. The head coach of the Battling Bishops in his 24th year. At Ohio Wesleyan, Mr. Mike DeWitt. Now the starters for the Capitol Comets. At guard, the six foot two sophomore from Maria Stein, Ohio. Number three, Alex Iink. Also at guard, the six foot two sophomore from Westchester, Ohio. Number 13, Carter Combs. At forward, the six seven sophomore from Ottoville, Ohio. Number five, Ryan Seaver. Also at forward, the six foot four senior from Ann, Ohio, number 15, Griffin Dosick. And finally, rounding out the starting five for the Comets today, the six foot five sophomore forward from Akron, Ohio, number 20, Dom Megerly. The head coach of the Comets in his 28th year, Damon Goodwin. We are ready for the opening tip off, and it is won by the Comets. Our referees are Andrew Murray, Scott Gooden, and Chuck Dockery. So we're underway here at the Capitol Center. Dosick will go inside to Megerly, but it's off the hands of Dom and into the hands of Tony Carter. An early turn turnover as we begin play here in Bexley tonight. Bishops coming off of a road win at Albion as they work their first offensive possession of the night in the hands of Spicer. Ten to shoot for the Battling Bishops. They go inside, and the layup is good for Henry Hinkle, who came in here averaging nine points per game. Hasn't been shooting the ball all that well, only 30% of 1% of the season, but shots like that will certainly help the shooting percentage. Two-nothing lead for Ohio Wesleyan early on. And ball in the hands of Megerly. Long three for Combs, and that is no good. Tipped around, and Dosa grabs the offensive board for Capital. Comets will reset. Combs drives inside to Seaver, and Seaver got bumped. So the foul will go against, looks like Henry Hinkle, his first, team's first. Foul was on the floor. So the ball will quickly be inbounded by Capital. Megerly, top of the arc. They go inside to Seaver, and now another foul will be called. This time, this will be on Tony Carter. So two quick fouls on Ohio Wesleyan. Carter's first, team's second. And another inbound play coming up here for Capital. I ain't getting the start today as he will throw it in to Combs. 18 to shoot for Capital. Combs, foul line, back outside. Dosick will go baseline, tough drive. No good, rebound taken by Henry Hinkle. Here comes Owu the other way. Clement near the left wing as Ohio Wesleyan sports an early 2-0 lead with still 18 and a half to go here in the first half. A drive and a kick to Rice. Rice, jumper in the lane is no good, and the rebound is taken by Seaver. Now it's ahead to Iink. In the hands of Combs now. Combs will try another three. This time no good, and the rebound is taken by Tony Carter. Carter averaging 9.7 points per game, seven rebounds per game for this battling Bishop squad. So now Owu trying to work in the half court. Hinkle. Try a long jumper. That's no good. And the rebound taken by Dom. Megerly pushing it up the floor for Capital. Dom all the way, and he'll score. Score tied at two after the main bucket by Dom Megerly. 17-42 to play in the first half. David Rice. And now it's slapped away by Megerly, but recovered by Clement. 14 to shoot for the Bishops. Clement gets free, jacks up a three, that's no good. 
out of bounds. They'll say it's off of Owu. It's Capital Basketball. Really the first time that we have seen Clement get open offensively. He had a wide open look there on the right wing, but just was not able to bury it that time. Score tied at two. As Capital is looking for its first lead of the ball game here. Megerly, top of the arc, going over his options before passing it over to Combs. Combs, right wing, gets a screen inside. Seaver with a bounce pass, or a bounce, but loses it. A turnover. Coming up with it is Clement. Clement now left wing, trying to get a screen, but a nice switch that time defensively by Seaver. Clement now trying to drive inside. Now a kick back out over to Hinkle. Hinkle, left wing with 14 to shoot on the shot clock. Spicer, back in the hands of Clement now. Clement from the right point, no good, but a rebound for Spicer, and he'll get it outside. Hinkle, long three, that's no good, and a foul is now going to be called against Iink. He bumped Hinkle while in the process of shooting that three. So now Hinkle will head to the foul line. Not before a couple of substitutions, however, for Capital. Coming in for the Comets will be Caleb Crawford and Joe Thompson. Meantime, Hinkle heading to the foul line, and Hinkle off to an excellent start at the Cherry Stripe, shooting 88% from the free throw line. A right-handed shooter. First shot is up and good. And now Crawford taking the ball the other way. I Inc. Long three. That's no good. And the rebound is taken by Owu. David Rice with the board. Clement working on the right wing. Swung all the way around to Hinkle. Now a bounce pass inside to Spicer. Spicer trying to back his man down, back outside. Three-pointer on the way. That's no good for Carter. Rebound, Capital. Here comes Magerly the other way. Magerly to Seaver. Swung around to Iink. Now bounced inside to Crawford. Crawford gets a shot off and sinks it. Nice turnaround jumper that time by Caleb Crawford. It's now a 6-4 lead in favor of Ohio Wesleyan. 15-40 to go in the first half. Swung around to Clement, now in the hands of Carter. Now in the hands of Spicer. Top of the arc, now over to Hinkle. Hinkle passing off to Clement. Clement, top of the arc. 10 seconds to shoot for the Bishops. Clement, long three. That's an air ball out of bounds, and it'll be Capital basketball. And now coming off the bench for Capital will be Justin Nixon. Boy, he had an impressive game. In that win over Olivet last week, eight points, nine rebounds. He was a force on the glass for the Comets that game as he checks in for Seaver. Crawford will now bring it across half court for the Comets. He'll pass off to Magerly. Magerly will now give off to Thompson. Thompson dribbling inside, back over to Iink. Now to Nixon, back to Iink. Iink left wing, passing over to Nixon. 11 to shoot for the Comets. Crawford trying to go inside. And now Nixon is going to be called for an offensive foul. They're going to get him for a moving screen. First foul of the game for Nixon. First team foul for Capital this half. So Ohio Wesleyan back with the basketball. Spicer, top of the arc. Passing it over, and now Spicer... Looked like he picked up his pivot foot, leading to a traveling violation. So a turnover there for Ohio Wesleyan. Thompson will inbound it to Crawford. Caleb Crawford coming off the bench today, the junior from Cincinnati, Ohio. Pass off to Magerly. Bounced and stolen. Nice job by Hinkle that time, sticking his hand in and forcing the turnover. Clement, right wing, being guarded by Nixon. Clement now passing it over to Spicer. Back to Clement. Long three. That's no good. And the rebound is taken by Thompson. Joe will take it across half court. Over to Iink. Iink drives. Stops. Jumper. No good. Rebound taken by Clement. 
And Clement only stands at six foot, but he can go get those loose balls, averaging 6.7 rebounds per game. Had a double-double in that win over Albion the other day as he pulled down 11 rebounds for the Bishops. 6-4 lead for Ohio Wesleyan, under 14 minutes to play in the first half. And there's Clement knocking down a three from the right wing. Advancing the Owu lead to 9-4 with 13-47 to play in the first half. Nixon out to Magerly. Now to Thompson. Thompson, left wing, inside to Crawford. And then a reach-in foul will be called against David Rice. That'll be his first personal, team's third. Checking in for the battling bishops, Curtis White and Isaac Ward. And for capital, Carter Combs will come back in along with Ryan Roth. Well, actually, I take that back. Combs was already in there. It is Ryan Roth and McCain Finkenbein who check in for the Comets. 9-4 lead for Ohio Wesleyan coming up on 13 and a half to play in the first half. Three-pointer off the mark by Finkenbein, but Nixon with an offensive board. A power dribble up and in for Justin Nixon. Nice job by Nixon securing the rebound and, and having the wherewithal to put that ball back up and in. It's now a 9-6 lead for Ohio Wesleyan as we tick closer to 13 minutes to play in the first half. Pass outside, three-pointer, no good, and the rebound is taken by Thompson following the miss by White. Thompson to Roth, top of the arc, over to Finkenbein, to Roth, to Thompson, inside. Nixon finishes. Justin Nixon with another basket brings Capital to within one. 9-8, the Owu lead with 12.45 to play in the first half. Passed over to Clement. Now over to Tony Carter. Carter near the top of the arc, dribbling around, hands off to White. Passing over to Rice, 13 to shoot for Owu. Curtis White dribbling in, pass tipped. Five to shoot, long three on the way, and that is no good as Finkenbein grabs the rebound for Capital and gets fouled by Curtis White, the senior, out of Lawrenceburg, Indiana. That's White's first, team's fourth. And now checking in for Ohio Wesleyan is Reese Mitchell. He's a junior out of Worcester. 9-8 lead for Ohio Wesleyan. 12-22 to play in the first half. Thinking Bine brings it across half court for Capital. And we'll try to go inside the Thompson, but not before it is kicked by Mitchell. Capital maintaining possession. 23 seconds to shoot on the shot clock. Thinking Bine gets it into Roth. Now they go inside the Thompson. Thompson trying to back his man down on the right block. Strong move by Thompson, but can't get the bucket to go. Rebound by Carter. Carter swinging around now to Mitchell on the right wing. Now in the hands of Ward. Ward top of the arc being guarded by Roth. 16 to shoot for Owu. White, spin move in the lane. Shot off the glass. No good on the rebound taken by Nixon. Combs trying to come the other way. Little spin move and can't finish, but he did get fouled on his way to the hoop. The foul will go against Curtis White, his second team's fifth. And now Combs will end the foul line. Combs shooting 50% from the line, although he's only had four shots from the Cherry Stripes so far this season. Knocks down the first. In for Owu is Grant Spicer. Checking back in for capital will be Griffin Dosick. And for the first time today, we get to see Nate Gerber, the 6'6 six six junior out of Laddie, Ohio. So we're tied at nine. Combs with a chance here to put capital ahead by one, and he does so. 10-9 lead for capital coming up on 11 and a half to play, and it's been a briskly played first half so far. Ward passing over to Mitchell. Now in the hands of Rice. Back over to Mitchell. Bounce pass inside, and the drive is no good. And the rebound is taken by Capital. And then a foul called against Ohio Wesleyan. The foul will go against Grant Spicer, his first, and already team six. And meantime, Capital will get the ball back here.
McCain Finkenby, the freshman out of Anna, Ohio. Same high school that his capital teammate Griffin Dosick once attended. Three-pointer for Roth. No good. Dosick tried to get the offensive board, but it goes through his hands out of bounds, and it'll be Ohio Wesleyan basketball. 10-9 lead for Capital. It has been a low-scoring affair so far between Ohio Wesleyan and Capital. 10-9 in favor of the Comets with 11.07 to play here in the first half, and now a substitution made for Owu is coming back is Jack Clement. Ohio Wesleyan so far shooting 21% from the field. Capital not that much better, 33%. Comets have yet to hit a three-pointer in this game. They've gone 0 of 5 from downtown. Meanwhile, Ohio Wesleyan a mere 2 of 8. Mitchell bouncing it over to Clement. Now Clement will pass it off to Carter. Over to Ward on the right wing. Back over to Clement. 13 to shoot to Mitchell. Now back to Clement, top of the arc, being guarded by Combs. Seven to shoot. Clement will launch a long three, and he will knock it down. Not afraid to shoot is Jack Clement, and he shows off the range there as Ohio Wesleyan retakes the lead 12 to 10. Ten and a half to play here in the first half. Finkenbein will go inside to Dosa, who almost lost it. He recovers. Back outside, over to Combs. Combs trying to dribble around, trying to thread a needle on a pass. But it's knocked out of bounds by Ohio Wesleyan. Capital will maintain possession. 13 to shoot for the Comets. Roth will inbound it from the baseline. And he will get it in to Gerber. Gerber, right block, goes to work, and he gets fouled. Second personal foul on Tony Carter. 17 foul on Ohio Wesleyan this half. So now Gerber, the junior from Laddie, Ohio, will head to the free throw line. So far, Gerber, perfect from the foul line. And remains perfect. He was 2-2. Two two. He's now 3-3. Three three. Caleb Crawford will check back in. Finkenbein will take a seat for capital. Meantime, back in for Ohio Wesleyan is David Rice. And now one more free throw attempt here for Gerber. Shot is up, and it's no good for Gerber. So the perfect street ends. He now is now 3 of 4 from the foul line this season. Capital trailing Ohio Wesleyan 12 to 11, as we're coming up on 10 minutes to play here in the first half. Rice over to Mitchell, bouncing over to Spicer. Now in the hands of Ward. Ward, left wing, trying to battle his way around a screen. Now we'll try... To go down the lane, step back, jumper, no good, and the rebound is taken by Gerber. Gerber will now feed it ahead to Combs. Combs over to Roth. Now they go inside, and a near turnover. Now a battle for the loose ball on the floor as Dosik lost it for a time. Jump ball, possession arrow, gives it to Ohio Wesleyan. Big time scrap for the ball as Dosik lost control. And after the jump ball, they're going to give it to Ohio Wesleyan. And now a timeout's going to be called, looks like, by Ohio Wesleyan. We will pause. Nine and a half to play here in the first half. It is Ohio Wesleyan 12, capital 11. This is men's basketball on athletics.capital.edu. Nine and a half minutes to play in the first half. Ohio Wesleyan leading capital in this one so far, 12 to 11. If you like offense, well, so far this has not been the game for you. Ohio Wesleyan shooting 25% from the field. Capital, meantime, shooting only 33% from the field. Ohio Wesleyan has gone three of nine from three-point range. Capital still looking for its first three-pointer of the game. They've gone 0 of 5 from downtown so far. Clement with a jumper, and he'll knock it down. 
Three-point lead for Ohio Wesleyan now, 14-11, with 9-10 remaining in the first half. Combs to Gerber, back over to Combs. Combs thought about a three, now will throw it inside to Gerber. Gerber triple teamed, and now he'll be called for a traveling violation. So a turnover there for Capital. Both teams have been doing a good job of taking care of the ball, or at least Ohio Wesleyan has. That's already Capital's sixth turnover of the game. Mitchell over to Clement. Now in the hands of Spicer, back over to Clement. 12 to shoot. Clement down the lane, back outside. Pump fake by Mitchell over to Clement in the corner. Five to shoot. Clement being hounded by Dosick. He'll now drive, and he will score. Nice drive to the bucket for Clement. It's now a 16-11 lead for Ohio Wesleyan. And a steal. Here comes Rice the other way, and he'll slam it home. Largest lead of the game for Ohio Wesleyan. is now They're now up by seven with 8-10 remaining in the first half. Capital trying to stem the tide here inside. Dosick will finish. Nice pass on the interior as Dosick adds two more to the stat sheet. 18 to 13 now in favor of Ohio Wesleyan with 7.49 to play in the first half. It looks like Capital's going to be going with mass substitutions here in a moment. Spicer inside. Clement got fouled on his way to the hoop, so he'll be shooting a, some free throws, but not before... Some substitutions here for both teams. Actually, they're going to have to wait. So Clement shooting 71% from the foul line so far this season. Clement gets the ball, shot is up, and it is good. Checking in for Ohio Wesleyan will be Henry Hinkle and Cole Metzler. Meantime for Capital, Dom Magerly, Alex Iink back in there, along with Joe Thompson and Ryan Seaver. Combs remains out there for Capital. In the meantime, Clement with one more foul shot. It is up, and it is good. Ohio Wesleyan 20, Capital 13. This has been a strong push by Ohio Wesleyan within the last couple of minutes or so. Thompson. Over to Combs. Now to Magerly. Back over to Combs. 13 to shoot. Over to Thompson. Thompson left wing. Goes baseline. Pass inside. Seaver loses it. Gets it back. Four to shoot. Seaver. Hook shot. No good. Rebound taken by Henry Henkel. Owu coming the other way with the basketball. Hinkle, he'll let loose a three. And that's no good. The rebound is taken. Well, before there was a rebound that was going to be taken, a foul will now be called against Capitals' Ryan Seaver. Third team foul of the half on Capital. So now Hinkle will inbound it. And he'll get it into Metzler. Back to Hinkle. Hinkle. With a pass that's picked up by Dom Magerly. Here comes Dom the other way, and Dom can't finish the layup at the other end. Hinkle with the rebound for Owu. Tough break there for Dom as it looks like he had an easy path to the bucket but just could not finish at the rim. Hinkle passing it over to Clement. Clement, step back three. No good. Offensive board grabbed by Mitchell. A fresh possession for Owu. Rice, he'll try a jumper. That's off the mark. Rebound taken, or saved, I should say, by Seaver. Over to Combs. Combs down the lane, lost it, and they're going to say it went off of the knee of Combs. That was a turnover for Capital. Seaver will check out. Back in for Capital will be Justin Nixon. And substitutes... For Ohio Wesleyan, coming back in for the Bishops, Tony Carter, as well as Curtis White. A 20-13 lead for Ohio Wesleyan, 6-11 to play in the first half. 
White brings it across the timeline. Now it's swung around to Carter. Carter bouncing over to Metzler. Metzler trying to get it over to Hinkle, but Hinkle guarded. And then a ball thrown out of bounds that time. Capital will gladly take that turnover right there. Combs inbounds it to Iink, who brings it across half court. Megerly, left wing, bounced over to Thompson. Back to Megerly, back to Thompson. Thompson with a swing pass over to Combs. Now they go inside the Nixon, pass over to Megerly, and this time Dom is able to finish. Cuts the Ohio Wesleyan lead to five, 20 to 15, five and a half to play. Clements over to Carter. Bounced over to Metzler. Now in the hands of Clement. Clement. On the right wing and a foul called against Justin Nixon. That's his second, team's fourth. Now back in for Ohio Wesleyan, Grant Spicer. He's the senior from Cincinnati, Ohio, attended Lakota East High School. Inbounded by Carter to Hinkle. Hinkle top of the arc, over to White, long three, barely grazes iron. Nixon grabs another rebound for Capital. I Inc. Thought about a three, now over to Thompson. Thompson, he'll let loose a three. That's way off the mark, and the rebound is taken by Owu. Hinkle. Back out to the left wing. 4.41 to go in the first half. 20 to 15 lead for Ohio Wesleyan. Shot missed by Hinkle. Rebound, Dom. Dom down the lane. And the count the basket and a foul. Foul will go against Henry Hinkle, his second, team's eighth. So now Dom will head to the foul line. Dom has only shot one shot from the foul line so far this season. And he made it. Trying to complete the and one play here. And the shot is no good. Still, the two points by Dom Brings Capital to within three, 20 to 17, 425 to play in the first half. Jack Clement over to Carter. Now to Spicer. Now in the hands of White. White, top of the arc. Long jumper. Swishes it through. 22-17. Ohio Wesleyan with the lead. Four minutes to play in the first half. Nixon. Outside to Combs. Now to Thompson. Thompson passing it back to Combs. Ten to shoot. Nixon. Go to work on the left block. Out inside and Nixon misses the dunk and the ball doesn't even roll down. Oh, a tough break there for Nixon. Still a 22-17 advantage for Ohio Wesleyan. Under three and a half to play in the first half. Clement. Nearly losing his balance, but somehow keeps the ball. He's on the right wing now with 12 to shoot. Over to Spicer, inside, and Clement makes the layup. Seven-point advantage now for Ohio Wesleyan. 3-12 left to go in the first half. Nixon to Magerly. Dom, he'll shoot a three. That's no good, and the rebound is taken by Ohio Wesleyan, nearly losing out of bounds was White, but somehow he kept his balance and kept the ball in bounds for the Bishops. White over to Spicer. Back to White. Clement, he'll try a three, and he'll knock it down. Boy, I'll tell you what, Jack Clement is really starting to heat up for the battling Bishops. The lead is now 10, the largest of the game. Capital will cross half court, and now a timeout will be taken by Damon Goodwin. 2.29 left to play here in the first half. It's Ohio Wesleyan 27, Capital 17. 
This is Comets Men's Basketball on athletics.capital.edu. Two twenty-nine to play in the first half. It is Ohio Wesleyan leading Capital by a score of twenty-seven to seventeen. And boy, how about the first half by Jack Clement? He's already got seventeen points, three of seven from three, six of, le six of eleven from the field. Can Capital mount a little bit of a comeback here and give themselves some momentum heading into halftime? Though Roth, top of the arc, over. To Dosik for three, that's no good, and the rebound is taken by David Rice. Boy, it has been a first half to forgive for Capital when it comes to shooting the three ball. Clement with a nice move, got his man up in the air, off the glass and in, and boy, that's just not fair right there. Clement now with 19 points on the night. Magerly inside as another turnover as they were trying to get it inside to Seaver. 29-17 lead for Ohio Wesleyan. 139 remaining in the first half. Clement will try a three, but that's no good. And the rebound is taken by Seaver. Here comes Dom. Roth in the corner, and it's good. <laughs> Brings Capital to within nine. 29-20. 120 to play in the first half. And now Ohio Wesleyan will try to work some of this clock before we get to halftime. Ward over to Clement. Now to Spicer. Spicer backing his man down. Shot looked to be blocked, but now a foul will be called against Griffin Dosick. So now Spicer, the senior from Cincy, will head to the foul line looking to extend. And so Wu lead to double digits. First shot is no good. Substitutions now for Capital. Coming back in for the Comets, Carter Combs, as well as Joe Thompson. Spicer will once again head to the free throw line. The shot is up and it is good. Ohio Wesleyan 30, Capital 20, 55 seconds and counting in the first half. Fed inside to Sievert, over to Thompson. Seaver three, short. And the rebound taken by Reese Mitchell of Owu. 40 seconds and counting in the first half. 10-point lead for the Bishops. Ward, go baseline, passing it back out to Clement. Clement drives in, finishes off the glass with the left hand. 21 points in the first half for Clement. Boy, what an offensive force he has been in this game thus far for Ohio Wesleyan. So now Capital will play for the last shot of the half. Nine seconds and counting. McCain Finkenbein passing off to Thompson. Now over to Roth. Three seconds. Roth will let loose a three. That's no good. And that's how the first half will end. Well, it was a close ball game for a while, but then all of a sudden... Jack Clement got hot. So did the rest of his OWU teammates at the half. It's Ohio Wesleyan 32, Capital 20. Coming up, we'll get you caught up with scores involving teams from the Ohio Athletic Conference. There's also some Division I men's basketball going on today. And we'll also do a quick preview of all the action that will be taking place in college football this upcoming Thanksgiving Day weekend. All that and more coming up on the halftime show again at the half. It is Ohio Wesleyan 32, Capital 20. This is men's basketball on athletics.capital.edu.
Halftime here at the Capitol Center. The score, Ohio Wesleyan 32, Capital 20. Welcome back. I'm Charlie Danis. Let's go ahead and take a look at scores. We begin with games that took place in the Ohio Athletic Conference. Let's go back to the action that took place yesterday on Tuesday. Heidelberg earning a 92-76 win over Albion. Student Princes were led offensively in that game by Seth Homan and Trey Watkins. Each of those guys had 19 points. St. Lightwine also came off the bench and provided a boost. He had 18 points in that win for the Student Princes. Meantime, Otterbein comes up short. They fall to Denison by a final of 76 to 66. It was a great game for Cam Evans, the Cardinals guard going for 26 points, but Ricky Radke also had a great game for Denison. He had 26 points, shot 10 of 13 from the field, 6 of 7 in the foul, from the foul line in that win for the Big Red. And finally, from Tuesday night, Baldwin Wallace, victorious over Penn State. Barron, final score in that one, 69 to 55. Yellow Jackets led offensively by Anthony Maceo, who went off for 28 points. 11 of 19 from the field and 3 of 7 from three point lane. Looks like Mazeo had himself a big game for the Yellow Jackets the other night. Already a final from earlier today. It was John Carroll who triumphed over Fredonia by a final score of 78 to 68. Blue Streaks were led offensively by Luke Chacon. He had 22 points on 7 to 12 shooting from the field, also went 2 of 5 from three-point range. Coming up later on tonight, the only other game involving an OAC team, well, that would be Mount Union. They're on the road this evening. They're going to be at Worcester, and they are scheduled to start that, that game with Worcester beginning at 6 o'clock. On Saturday afternoon, Heidelberg will be heading to Ohio Wesleyan to take on these same battling bishops that are playing against the Comets tonight. That game is scheduled for a 3 o'clock start. And then finally, coming up on Sunday, Ohio Northern plays host to Alma at 1. Capital will be hitting the road as well. Uh, they will be at Trine that afternoon. That game is scheduled for a 2 o'clock start. Meantime, let's get you some scores involving some top 25 teams at the Division I level. Earlier today, in the Maui Gym Maui Invitational held out there in beautiful Hawaii, the Ohio State Buckeyes were able to score a big win. The Buckeyes knocking off 21st-ranked Texas Tech by a final of 80-73. to Justice Suing having himself a big game for Ohio State, pouring in 33 points and grabbing eight rebounds as well. Earlier today, third-ranked Kansas winners over North Carolina State 80-74. to as they play in the Bad Boy Mowers Battle for Atlantis tournament that is held annually down in the Bahamas. Freshman sensation Grady Dick leading the way for the Jayhawks. He had 25 points for KU. Couple games already uh, are in action at the moment. 15th ranked Kentucky is taking it to North Florida, 85 to 41. 547 left to play in that game. 846 to play in the second half. Seventh ranked Baylor leading comfortably over McNeese State, 66-45. to And 3.42 left to play in the first half in another game from the Maui Gym Maui Invitational out in Hawaii. It's 14th-ranked Arizona leading 10th-ranked Creighton, 32-25. to Coming up later on tonight, 11th-ranked Indiana will be taking on Little Rock beginning at 6.30. At 7.30, 22nd-ranked Tennessee will battle Butler in the Battle for Atlantis Tournament. At 8.30, 13th-ranked Auburn will be taking on Northwestern as part of the Cancun Challenge. And finally, at 10 o'clock, the final game of the Maui Gym Maui Invitational, at least for tonight, 9th-ranked Arkansas taking on 17th-ranked San Diego State. So those are Division I basketball games. A busy weekend awaits us in college football. Starting with tomorrow, another edition of the Egg Bowl. 20th ranked Ole Miss playing host to their longtime state rivals, the Mississippi State Bulldogs. That game is scheduled for a 7 o'clock start. 
A slew of games on Friday at noon. 24th ranked Cincinnati welcomes in 19th ranked Tulane. 23rd ranked Texas will play host to Baylor also at noon. 17th ranked North Carolina will be battling the North Carolina State Wolfpack beginning at 3.30. 18th ranked UCLA. They will take their act on the road. They'll take on the Cal Bears beginning at 4.30. And finally at 7.30, it's a battle of two teams that know each other well in the state of Florida. The Florida State Seminoles ranked 16th in the latest college football playoff rankings will play host to the Florida Gators. And then we get to Saturday. Now there are many big robbery games that are going to be taking place this Saturday, chief among them, the game. Second-ranked Ohio State playing host to third-ranked Michigan. Only the second time in the long and storied robbery between those two Big Ten foes has both of those teams with 11-0 records undefeated heading into this game. you got to go all the way back to that great game they had at the Horseshoe in 2006 to see the last time that both of these teams were ranked in the top five. Of course, that was the one versus two matchup in which Ohio State ultimately prevailed over Michigan. For the Wolverines, they're trying to win their second consecutive game over the Buckeyes. That would be the first time the Wolverines have accomplished that since the 99-2000 seasons. Meantime, Ohio State looking for revenge as they fell to Michigan last year at the Big House. They are looking to get back on the winning side of things in that rivalry. That game is scheduled for a kickoff at high noon on Fox. Other big rivalry games that will be played on Saturday. Clean Old Fashioned Hate, one of the best nicknames when it comes to college football rivalries. That's top-ranked Georgia, plays host to Georgia Tech. Also a big rivalry in the state of South Carolina, eighth-ranked Clemson. will be playing host to the Gamecocks of South Carolina who are coming off of a big win over previously top five ranked Tennessee. Then we head to the Bluegrass State. 25th ranked Louisville will head to Kentucky to take on the Wildcats at 3 o'clock. At 3.30, the Iron Bowl. 7th ranked Alabama playing host to Auburn. The Civil War. First time in a long time that both Oregon and Oregon State find themselves in the top 25. Ninth ranked Oregon will be heading to 21st ranked Oregon State as the Ducks battle the Beavers in that one. At 4 p.m., fourth-ranked Texas Christian will look to remain undefeated as they welcome in Iowa State. At 4 o'clock, 11th-ranked Penn State will play host to Michigan State. Also at 4 o'clock, 14th-ranked Utah will head to Colorado. At 7 o'clock, fifth-ranked Louisiana State will go to Texas A&M to take on an Aggies team that's really been a big disappointment here in 2022. At 7 o'clock, 22nd-ranked Central Florida takes on South Florida. At 7.30... One of the longest-running rivalry games in college football, sixth-ranked USC looks to remain on track for a possible playoff berth as they welcome in the 15th-ranked Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Again, that game will kick off at 7.30. Also at 7.30, 10th-ranked Tennessee will be looking to bounce back after a tough loss to South Carolina last week. They'll be at Vanderbilt. 12th-ranked Kansas State. They will look to clinch a spot in the Big 12 championship game as they play host of the Kansas Jayhawks. And finally, at 10.30 p.m., the battle for the Crag Apple Cup. 13th-ranked Washington will head to Washington State to take on the Cougars. That game is scheduled for a 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time kickoff. And those are all of your big rivalry games coming up on that rivalry Saturday in college football. And coming up in mere moments, the second half of our basketball game. It will be... Ohio Wesleyan, who comes out in the second half, leading Capital 32-20. Let's go ahead and take a look at the statistics from this game. First, the team statistics. Ohio Wesleyan shooting 40% from the field, Capital only 33%. Three-point percentage. Ohio Wesleyan 4 of 15 from downtown, good for only 27%, but it's a heck of a lot better than what Capital's doing right now from downtown, 1 of 11. From downtown for the Comets, good for only 9.1%. Free throw shooting, Ohio Wesleyan, 4 of 5, good for 80%. Capital, 3 of 5, good for 60%. Rebounding, Ohio Wesleyan with a slight edge, 19 to 7 in favor of the Bishops. Other team statistics of note, assists, Ohio Wesleyan, 5, Capital, 4. Turnovers, Capital, 9, Ohio Wesleyan, 3. Bench points, Capital, 10, Ohio Wesleyan, 2. Fast break points, 
Capital six, Ohio Wesleyan two steals. Six of them for Ohio Wesleyan, only one for Capital. Points off turnovers. That's been big in this game as Ohio Wesleyan has 12 as compared to only two for Capital. Points in the paint, Capital 14, Ohio Wesleyan 12. Second chance points, Ohio Wesleyan four, Capital two. And that's about it for the team statistics there. Individual-wise, well, we begin with Ohio Wesleyan, and we really shouldn't be surprised at this point. Jack Clement has gotten off to a great start offensively this season for the Bishops, and that first half was simply magical for the senior from Bell Fountain, Ohio. 21 points, 8 of 14 from the field, 3 of 8 from three-point range, good for 38%, and oh, by the way, a perfect 2 of 2 from the foul line as well. In other words, ladies and gentlemen, Jack Clement put in work offensively in the first half. Great game thus far for the senior from Bell Fountain, Ohio. Other scores in that first half for Ohio Wesleyan. Two points for the forward, David Rice. Six points for Henry Hinkle. One point for Grant Spicer. And two points for Curtis White. Meantime, the individual scores look like this for Capital. Lean scorer from that first half was Dom Magerly. He had six points for the Comets. Two points each for Carter Combs and Griffin Dosick. Three points for Ryan Rock. Two points for Caleb Crawford. One point for Nate Gerber. And four points for Justin Nixon. And we're just about to start the second half here as Capital has taken the floor. I think priority number one for the battle uh, for uh, the Comets has got to be trying to find a way to limit Clemens' chances offensively here. And in the meantime, Capitals got to get something going offensively. That was an absolutely putrid first half when it came to shooting the three ball, only one of 11 from downtown. That has got to improve going forward. Dosick to Roth. Roth to Magerly inside. Back over to Roth in the corner. Roth will now pass out of it to Nixon. Over to Dom. Now to Crawford. Inside to Nixon. Nixon backing his man down off the glass and in for Justin Nixon. Good start there offensively for Capital. The lead now for Ohio Wesleyan is 10, 32-22 as we're 30 seconds into the second half. David Rice passing it off to Clement. He of the 21 points of the first half. Now in the hands of Spicer. Inside, Clement drives in and scores. Not missing a beat to begin the second half. Clement with another bucket. Nixon back outside and turns it over as it's tipped up in the air. Nice hands exhibited by Henry Hinkle. Hinkle will let loose a three, and he'll knock it down. Hinkle came into this game shooting 31% from the field, but so far today, he's been quite an effective offensive weapon for Ohio Wesleyan. It's now a 37-22 lead. For the Battling Bishops with 18.45 to play in the first half, or the second half, I should say. Dosick, Roth, lets loose a three. Off the mark, and the rebound is taken by Rice of Owu. Hinkle, driving inside. Hinkle, jumper, no good. Tipped around, and a foul will be called against Owu. That'll be Grant Spicer, his second, team's first of the half. So now Capital will inbound it here, trailing Ohio Wesleyan 37-22, 18-25 to play. Crawford to Magerly. Now in the hands of Roth to Crawford. Back to Magerly. Dom on the left wing. Bounces it inside to Nixon. Nixon decides to take his man inside once again. He lost it, but he got fouled. And the foul will once again go against Grant Spicer, his third, team second. Crawford will inbound it. Gets it into Roth, long jumper. That's off the mark for Roth. Tipped around, finally grabbed by Rice. Oh, woo ball. Spicer over to Hinkle, now to Clement for three. That's good. Boy, this guy simply cannot miss right now. 
Clement now with 26 points. Crawford to Magerly. To Nixon. Nixon. Over to Dosick. Now to Crawford. Crawford left wing. 10 to shoot. Tough jumper. Batted away by Rice. And Crawford gets it back. Inside. Dosick wasn't expecting the pass. It's a turnover for Capital. And Clement walked with the basketball there. A little hesitation there that time as he thought about passing it to Hinkle, but then wanted to shoot it, but he got to dribble the ball first. And now Iink will check back in for Capital as Crawford will take a seat on the bench for Capital. 40-22 lead for Ohio Wesleyan. An 18-point lead for the Bishops. This was a close game early on, but, man, Ohio Wesleyan has really turned it on as of late. Then again, it really helps when you have a guy like Clement who's really gone off offensively within the last few minutes or so. Roth will try another three. That's no good. I ain't trying to grab the offensive board, but it's in vain as it goes out of bounds, and it'll be a woo ball once again. Clement's offensive prowess for Ohio Wesleyan. You couple that with the inability of Capital to really get anything going from downtown as they're now one of 13 from three-point range. That's why Capital finds itself trailing big. And a nice block that time by Dosick as it'll go out of bounds. It'll be Capital basketball. So now Combs will check back in for Capital. Roth will now take a seat on the bench for the Comets. Combs inbounds it, and he'll immediately get it back from Dosick. They go across half court. Tom Miggerly on the right wing to Nixon, to Combs, and now a offensive foul is going to be called against Nixon. That's his third, team's first personal of the half. Pretty much a moving screen that time by Nixon. And now David Rice, the sophomore out of Brook Park, Ohio. He'll inbound it. Get it over to Curtis White. He's a senior from Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Back in the hands of Rice. Bounced over to Hinkle. Hinkle trying to get it over to a teammate, but stolen away by Nixon. Up ahead to Iink, and Iink lays it up and in. Nice defensive play that time by Nixon, and then an even better outlet pass, leading Iink for an opportunity to two at the other end. It's now Ohio Wesleyan 40, Capital 24, 15-51 remaining. Nearly stolen by Magerly, but getting it back is Clement for Owu. 10 to shoot for the Bishops. Clement has his shot blocked, and then a layup. No good. Rebound taken by Nixon. Boy, I thought Carter had a chance right there, but he was not able to convert. Now they go inside to Dosik. Dosik off the glass. No good. Nixon trying to put it back in, but... That is not good as Owu comes away with the loose ball. Owu 40, capital 24. 15 15 remaining. David Rice drive inside. And boy, that looked like a block from here. Instead, a foul will be called against Nixon, and that is his fourth. Second team foul of the half on Capital. And now free throws upcoming here. The first shot is no good. As now Joe Thompson will check in for Capital. Nixon will be forced to take a seat on the bench. One more free throw upcoming here for David Rice. Shot is up, and that is no good. Rebound taken by Combs. We'll bring it across half court. 40 to 24 lead for Ohio Wesleyan as we tick under 15 to play. And then count the basket and a foul. Combs found an opening. He drives towards the bucket. And he gets found an N1 opportunity for Carter Combs, sophomore out of Westchester, Ohio. It's been a quiet day offensively for Combs. Only four points for the sophomore. Looking for point number five here. Shot up is good. 40-27 to 27 in favor of Ohio Wesleyan as we tick under 15 to play. B 
big deficit for Capital, but still a lot of ball left to be played here at the Cap Center. Carter to Clement. Long jumper, and he buries it. Boy, it doesn't matter where he shoots the ball. Jack Clement is seemingly making it from everywhere. He's in range the instant he crosses half court. Nice spin move inside, and a foul will be called against Tony Carter, his third, team's third. Nice spin move down low there by Joe Thompson, senior out of Galloway, Ohio. Fourth team foul of the half on Ohio Wesleyan. So now Thompson will head to the foul line where he's been shooting okay from the line. In fact, I think this might be the first free throw attempt for Thompson this season. Looks like it. Shot is up and good for Joe. One more free throw attempt for Thompson. As Capital tries to keep chipping away at this Owu lead. Ohio Wesleyan 42, Capital 29, 14 and a half to play. And now Capital trying with some pressure defense. That was almost a walk that time by David Rice. But luckily for him, he's able to get it into the hands of Clement. And Magerly steals it. Here comes Dom. He'll slam it home. Nice job by Dom that time. The lead for Owu down to 11. Hinkle driving forward. Clement thought about a three. And then a foul is called. Foul will go against Iink, his second, team's third. And now checking in for Ohio Wesleyan is Grant Spicer. As Rice will now take a seat on the bench for Owu. Hinkle will inbound it for the Bishops. And he'll get it into Spicer. Spicer in the corner. Triples out of it. Boy, ball nearly stolen away that time by Combs. But now it's Clement with the ball. Ten to shoot for the Bishops. Clement drives in. Lost it. And a, a turnover. Ian coming the other way for Capital. To Dosik. Now to Combs, and Combs walk with the basketball. Ohio Wesleyan 42, Capital 31, 13 39 to play. Curtis White, double team. Able to find a teammate, poked away by Magerly. Now there's a scramble for the loose ball. Everybody is calling for a foul, and now it's a 10-second violation. Ohio Wesleyan was never able to get the ball across half court, and now a timeout's going to be taken by Owu coach Mike DeWitt. We'll step aside as well. 13-27 to play in the second half. It's Ohio Wesleyan 42, Capital 31. This is Comets Men's Basketball on athletics.capital.edu. Thirteen twenty-seven to play in the second half. Ohio Wesleyan with an 11-point lead, but slowly but surely, Capital has fought their way back into this game after being down by as much as 18. 
I'll go inside to Thompson. Joe trying to back his man down. Nice spin move, and he finishes with the left hand. It's down to nine, 42-33. And a little over 13 to play. Still plenty of time left in this game. Spicer dribbling to his right. Gets it over to Carter, who nearly lost it. Very active hands by the Capitol defense within the last couple of minutes. Curtis White, right wing, eight to shoot for the Bishops. White still with the ball, passing it over to Spicer. Spicer twisting, turning, jumper, no good. Tip in, that's no good as well. And the rebound finally corralled by Combs. Combs to Thompson. Now to Magerly, back in the hands of Combs. 19 to shoot for the Comets. Thompson back out to Iink, left wing. Iink dribbling to his right. Iink over to Dosik. Dosik driving in. Spin move and oh, traveling violation for Dosik. Substitution now for Ohio Wesleyan as the Worcester native Reese Mitchell checks back into the game. Inbounded to Mitchell. Now a double team and nearly thrown out of bounds, but saved by Carter. Curtis White, now a three. That's off the mark. No good, and the rebound is taken by Combs. Combs will go all the way, but can't get the bucket to go. Just off the lip of the basket. He was fouled, though. Foul will go against Grant Spicer, team's fifth. And his fourth foul. So he'll have to check out. Back in is David Rice for Ohio Wesleyan. One more free throw for Carter Combs. Combs' shot is no good, but an offensive board by Thompson. Back to Combs, outside, pump fake, Thompson in, can't get it to go, but he did get fouled. <laughs> Foul will go against Rice, his first team six. So now I Inc. will head, will inbound it, get it into Dosik. Thompson, top of the arc, over to Combs. Combs, nice pass inside, and Dosik finishes. Boy, that's got to feel really good for Griffin Dosik, who's had a tough day down there on the low block. As the ball goes out of bounds, it'll stay with Ohio Wesleyan. In the meantime, how about this? The score now 42-36 in favor of Ohio Wesleyan. The lead has been whittled to six. Clement being guarded by Iink. He's now handling the ball, double team coming, able to pass out of it. Rice down the lane, and he's able to get it to go. That was a nice job of Rice finding an opening down the lane, and he converts at the rim. The lead is now back up to eight for Owu. Thompson twisting, turning, shoots and scores. Back down to six. Rice over to Mitchell. Now to Clement. And the Capitol fans were wanting to walk that time. Looks like Clement might have gotten away with one. Rice over to Mitchell. Mitchell top of the arc. Bouncing it over to Carter. Now in the hands of White for three. That's no good, and Dom grabs the rebound for Capitol. Here comes Magerly across half court. Dom trying to go down the lane, and he got bumped. And the foul will go against Curtis White, his third, team seventh. Now things are really starting to get interesting here. The one and one. So Dom will head to the foul line. First shot up and good. So now Dom will get a chance at a second free throw. More importantly, 
given a chance to further cut into this Wesleyan, Ohio Wesleyan lead. Shot is up. That's no good. Rebound by Thompson. Here comes Ayak for three, and he knocks it down. The Ohio Wesleyan lead is down to two after the three-pointer by Ayak. Three-pointer on the other end. That swishes through for Reese Mitchell. So now it's a 47-42 lead for Owu. Ayak will drive in, and another foul will be called against Rice. That's his third. Team's eighth. And this will be a shooting foul. So Ayank will head to the foul line now. Sophomore out of Maria Stein, Ohio. Boy, big three-pointer there for him a moment ago. First toss. Barely grazes front iron. No good. Checking in for capital now, McCain Finkenbein. Now one more attempt here for Ayank. Shot is up. This time much better. It's good. 47-43. 10-15 to play. Handling the ball for the Bishops is Hinkle. He'll bring it across half court. But he's being dogged defensively by Finkenbein. Pass over to Reese Mitchell. Mitchell. Dribbling to his right, and now a foul will be called against Griffin Dosick. His second of the game, and team's fourth. Rice will now inbound it, and he'll get it into Hinkle. Hinkle directing traffic. Waiting for a screen to develop, but instead passes it off to Carter. Carter to Hinkle. Hinkle. Left wing, Hinkle driving in and got fouled. Thought for a moment that Dosik might have had a chance at a block right there. As now Hinkle will head to the foul line. Foul will go against Finkenbein, his first, team's fifth. Hinkle's first free throw is good. 88% free throw shooter on the season so far as Dosik will check out. Seaver comes back in for capital. Hinkle's shot is up and good. So the lead now back up to six for Ohio Wesleyan. 9.39 to play. And combine. Over to Thompson. Three pointer. Good! Knocked down by Combs. It's now a three-point lead for Ohio Wesleyan. Capital with the press. Trying to force a turnover. Rice gets it ahead to Hinkle. So now Owu working in the half court. 18 to shoot for the Bishops. Hinkle over to Carter for three. No good. Rebound, Thompson. Here comes Joe the other way. Thompson spinning. Losing it. Seaver puts it up and in. It's down to one. Hinkle brings it across half court. Clement with a shot. It's up and it's good. Nice drive inside by Clement, who we really hadn't heard from all that much these last couple of moments. Lead for Owu, back up to three. Inside, Seaver finishes! The lead is now down to one. 8.24 to play. Owu 51, capital 50. Mitchell drives inside, almost turns it over, but it got by Seaver. 15 to shoot for the Bishops. Hinkle, left wing, guarded by Finkenbein. Now over to Carter. And a double dribble called on Tony Carter. Turnover for Ohio Wesleyan. Griffin Dosick will check in for capital. And now a timeout will be called. Let's take one with them. Eight minutes to play in the second half. Ohio Wesleyan 51, capital 50. This is Comets Men's Basketball on athletics.capital.edu.
Well, what a comeback here for Capital. After being down by as much as 18 late in the first half, Capital now within one of Ohio Wesleyan. The score, Owu 51, Capital 50, with eight minutes to play here in the second half. So here comes Capital with this upcoming offensive possession with a chance to take the lead for the first time in a long time. Combs drives in over to Iink. Iink kills his dribble, bounced inside to Seaver. Seaver can't get it to go, but he got fouled. Foul goes against David Rice, his fourth, team's ninth. So now Seaver heads to the foul line. Perfect two of two heading into play today. How much of a sample size? Shot is up and good. So now we're tied at 51. Rice checks out. Spicer back in for the Bishops. One more free throw for the sophomore from Ottoville, Ohio. Can Seaver give the Comets the lead? It's up and it's good. Capital 52, Ohio Wesleyan 51, 744 to play in the second half. Roth in for Capital as well. Isaac Ward dribbling around, 18 to shoot for the Bishops. They get it in the hands of Mitchell. And now a foul called on the inside against Seaver. That's his second, team six. Bend inside to Spicer. And now a foul called against Iink, his third. Team seventh. And now the one and one upcoming here for Ohio Wesleyan. And just the guy you want to have at the foul line if you're the Bishops, that being Henry Hinkle. Shot is up and good. One more free throw for the sophomore from Pal, Ohio. He grew up here in Central Ohio. Former Patriot at Olin Tangy Liberty High School. As the second shot is up and good. So Owu reclaims the lead. 53-52, 7.20 to play. Pass over to Iink. Iink dribbling over to Roth. Roth. Thought about feeding inside the Seaver. Over to Dosik. Dosik jumper. No good. And the rebound is taken by Owu. Mitchell with the grab. Hinkle passing it out. Spicer for three. That's no good. And the rebound is taken by Combs. Capital coming in the other way. Combs. He'll let loose a three. No good. Dosik trying to grab it. Loose ball. And finally, Owu corrals it. Hinkle ahead to Mitchell. Back to Hinkle. Now to Spicer. Now over to Ward. Ward left wing. Ward trying to drive inside. And he can't get the bucket to go. And Seaver grabs the board for Capital. Ahead to Iink. Iink outside. Combs trying to drive inside. Dosik can't grab it. And it's a turnover for Capital. Boy, for whatever reason, Dosik's just been having a hard time grabbing the ball down low, and now a foul on the other end as it will go against Dosik, his third, team's eighth. Thompson and Magerly will check in for capital. And so now Hinkle will head to the foul line. It's been a nice game for Hinkle, 13 points, 3-7 to seven from the field. Two of four from three, and a perfect five of five from the foul line thus far. This is the one and one for Hinkle. Shot is up, and good. Second free throw upcoming for Hinkle as he looks to extend this Owu lead to three. Shot is up and good. Owu 55, Capital 52, 6.07 to play in the second half. Combs across half court. 
as he initiates the capital offense. Over to Thompson. Thompson right wing, now over to Dom. Dom, top of the arc, to Nixon, to Roth. Back over to Combs. 12 to shoot, to Magerly. Dom trying to go baseline, and Dom is able to finish. Ohio Wesleyan 55, Capital 54, 539 to play. Hinkle driving down the lane, and he gets it to go. How about the game today by Henry Hinkle? 17 points for the sophomore from Powell, Ohio. Lead back up to three for the Bishops. Nixon to Thompson. Thompson. Down the lane, Joe can't get it to go. Out of bounds, and it will stay with Capital as it went off the hands of Tony Carter. Checking back in for Capital is I Inc. as Roth will take a seat on the bench for Capital. I Inc. gets it into Nixon. Now to Thompson. Thompson to Combs, Combs inside. Nixon finishes at the rim. Great cut to the basket by Justin Nixon. It's back down to one for Owu. Hinkle backs it out now. 20 to shoot for the Bishops. As we tick under five minutes to play here in the second half. Inside, Hinkle can't finish in the rebounds taken by Thompson. Capital with another opportunity to retake the lead. Nixon back outside. I ink for three on target. Two point lead for Capital. 59 57, 423 to play. Clement near half court, driving in, and he scores. Tied at 59, 408 to play. Ooh, baby, what a second half this has been for both teams. Magerly to Thompson. Combs drives in. Nice find. Nixon can't finish. Tries to get his own miss, but can't. Oh, Wu with the rebound. Bishops now with a chance to retake the lead. Grant Spicer to Hinkle for three. That's no good, but chasing down the rebound is Spicer. So now the Bishops will reset offensively, and a blocking foul will be called against Nixon. That's his fifth. Team's ninth. Nixon is done. So Griffin Dosick will check in for capital because Nixon's night is done. Nixon leaves this game eight points and three rebounds. Meantime, Hinkle, who's been money at the foul line, back there again, and he makes the first. So, Ohio Wesley retakes the lead. One more free throw attempt upcoming here for Hinkle, who's working on an excellent game. He knocks down the second uh, free throw. He's now got 19 points. Iowa Wesleyan 61, Capital 59. I Inc. Top of the arc, over to Combs. Combs got fouled by Reese Mitchell. Team's 10th against the Bishops, so now Capital will be shooting two free throws the rest of the way. Shot is up for Combs, and it is good. Combs on the day, now with 10 points. Looking to tie the game. Shot is up, and it's good for Combs. Knotted at 61, 318 to play. Clement brings it across the timeline. To the right wing, trying to drive in, and a foul will be called against Capital. The foul will go against Dom Magerly, his first, team's 10th. And so now, 
Capital also enters the double bonus. It'll be free throws the rest of the way here for both teams. So Clement will step to the foul line. Today, he has gone two of two. Make it three of three. And now he's got 33 points. Substitution for Owu. Checking in for the Battling Bishops is David Rice. It's basically been the Clement and Hinkle show. Clement with 32 points. Make it 33 after that made free throw. And Hinkle with 19. Ohio Wesleyan 63, Capitals 61. Magerly to Iink to Thompson. Joe trying to go down the lane. Cut off. Dosick for three. That's no good. Tipped around. Still tipped around. Tom Magerly gets it. And now an offensive foul will be called. Magerly extended his left forearm to try to create more space for him down there on the low block. That's his second personal. And now a timeout will be taken by Capital. We'll step aside as well. 2.46 to play. Coming down to the wire here at the Capital Center. It's Ohio Wesleyan 63, Capital 61. Here on athletics.capital.edu. Two forty-six to play in regulation. Ohio Wesleyan leading Capital, sixty-three to sixty-one. It's been quite the second half for Capital. They have outscored Ohio Wesleyan forty-one to thirty-one. In order to mount a big comeback, Capital down by as much as eighteen late in the first half. But they have battled back, trying to be saved. Magerly trying to get to it. Ayak diving for it. And now there's a mad scramble for the ball just past half court. It's going to be a jump ball, and they're going to give it to, I would think, Cap. No. Are they going to give it to Capital or to Ohio Wesleyan? A loose ball foul is going to be called against Capital. Wow. Well, that's interesting. If it was a foul, it would have been announced by the public address announcer, but I didn't hear anything. So after that mad scramble, the ball is awarded to Ohio Wesleyan. 63-61. Battling Bishops with the lead. Two and a half to play. Clement, jumper, no good. Rebound taken by Thompson. Over to Magerly. Dom hands off to Combs. Combs down the lane. Blocked by Spicer. Here comes Owu. Curtis White will give off to Clement. The Bishops hoping that Clement and Hinkle can take them home. Clement with a little step back. Drive, and he can't get it to go. He missed that layup point blank. Something that we're not accustomed to seeing today. Megerly to Dosick. Combs. Over to Thompson. Thompson, long jumper, and it swishes through. We're tied at 63. Minute 40 remaining. Ohio Wesleyan trying to get it across half court now. Clement feeds ahead to White, and he'll cross half court safely. White 
Trying to put a move on Magerly inside, and Hinkle able to convert the layup. Owu back up by two. A minute 20 remaining in regulation. Ayank to Magerly. Over to Combs, now to Dosik. Dosik. Over to Ayank. 14 to shoot. Dosik for three. Way short, and the rebound is taken by Carter. Under a minute to play. Owu by two, 65-63. In the hands of Clement. Out near half court, picked up defensively by Magerly. Clement now driving. A kick and an offensive foul will be called against Clement. Wow. He kicked it out to Hinkle, who was open in the corner. But Clement is called for a charge, and now Capital with a chance to either tie or retake the lead here. And now a timeout will be taken. Looks like by Ohio Wesleyan. 45.7 seconds to go here in the second half. Ohio Wesleyan leading 65 to 63. We'll be back for the thrilling conclusion in just a moment. This is Comets Basketball on athletics.capital.edu. High drama at the Capitol Center. 45.7 seconds remain in regulation. It's Ohio Wesleyan leading Capitol 65 to 63. Capitol has possession of the basketball. Thompson will inbound. The Comets with a chance to either tie or retake the lead. Thompson. Inbounds it to Iink. Here we go. Iink across half court. Over to Dom on the right wing. Inside the Thompson. Joe thinks about a drive, but passes it back out to Combs. Combs thought about a three. Now over to Magerly. Dom, long jumper. Knocks it down. We're tied at 65. Timeout. And now there's a question as to whether or not that's a two or a three. Looks like Andrew Murray is conferring with the scorer's table. Unfortunately, here at the Division Three level, we don't get the opportunity to have re instant replay. Now I'm seeing a signal for three. Well, I thought I saw a signal for three. It remains a 65-65 all game. And now a substitution for the Bishops as Curtis White checks in for Owu. And now there's more conferring on the floor. Andrew Murray, Scott Gooden, and Chuck Dockery are just wanting to get things right here as we enter the final 30 seconds of this second half. Looks like we're all set and ready to go. Tie game at 65. 30.2 seconds remain in regulation. Owu will try to inbound it. Spicer gets it in to Hinkle. There's about a half of a .5, half of a second differential between shot clock and game clock. So Owu is now trying 
to hold for the last shot, and you know that Clement is going to be the guy that pulls the trigger. Ten seconds, nine seconds, eight seconds, seven seconds to shoot. Clement starting to move, guarded by Thompson. Clement being hounded. Clement puts it up, count the basket, and a foul. The Owu fans celebrating. The Capitol fans absolutely irate, and quite frankly, I don't blame them. It's one of those bang, bang plays. Is it blocking? Is it charging? So hard to officiate in the game of basketball. And unfortunately for Capital, it goes the way of Owu. So now a timeout will be called by Capital. So count the basket and a foul. Two more points for Clement. And Owu will take a two-point lead with Clement with an opportunity to make it a three-point advantage. Eight-tenths of a second show on the clock. So unless some grandiose miracle occurs here at the Capitol Center, that's going to end up being your game winner right there. So hold on, they don't count the basket, it's still a tie game. But Clement, a 71% free throw shooter, he knocks down the first. That makes it a one point lead for Ohio Wesleyan. And now a timeout will be taken by the Battling Bishop. So let me make a correction on my part. So Clement drove to the basket, they called the foul on the floor, not during the shot. So it's not an and one. Clement now getting ready to shoot the second of two free throws, trying to extend this Owu lead to two. Eight tenths of a second remain. Again, you you have to draw up some sort of fantastical play right here in order to even get a shot off at this point. And there are still Capital fans talking about that previous call. Boy, this would be Absolutely gut-wrenching for Capital. They were down by as much as 18 late in the first half, but they scratched and clawed and chipped away at this Owu lead to the point that they were leading a couple times down here, uh, down the stretch here at the Cap Center. And unfortunately, the ultimate judgment call in the game of basketball, whether it was a blocking or a charge foul, it really could have gone either way, at least from my vantage point. In the meantime, Clement can't say enough about the offensive performance that he has put on here for the Bishops. He's got 35 points, looking for point number 36 with this second free throw. The shot is up, and it is good. And now a timeout taken by Capital. So the score is Ohio Wesleyan 67, Capital 65, 8 tenths, of a second remain. And unlike the NBA, you cannot advance the ball past half court just by taking a timeout. Capital is going to have to draw up a play here where they have to throw it the length of the court, hope to God that someone can catch it and then somehow get a shot off before the buzzer sounds. What a game, really, between both these teams. I'm sure that Ohio Wesleyan head coach Mike DeWitt is not none too happy about his team giving up that big lead, but credit his squad for continually turning capital away, and now they have a chance to eventually come out of this game with a victory on the road. Meantime, for capital, boy, you really got a feel for the comments after making that great comeback. If they were the fall, the way they, uh, the way it appears it will end, boy, that'd be that'd be really hard to move on from. 
But as they say, there's still some time left. Dosik will inbound. Eight tenths of a second remain. He's going to throw it. And that is going to end up hitting one of the sound speakers. That will end up being a turnover for Capital. And now it's Ohio Wesleyan basketball. Oh, boy. So now Ohio Wesleyan will draw up a play here just to make sure that they get the ball in bounds eff uh, effectively here. The score, Ohio Wesleyan 67, Capital 65. So now both teams back on the floor. This time, Henry Hinkle will inbound it for Ohio Wesleyan. Hinkle gets it in, and that's it. Oh, boy, tough ending to this game for Capital, who fought valiantly, who came all the way back from an 18-point deficit. But in the end, it's Ohio Wesleyan who ends up winning by a score of 67 to 65. The Bishops improve to three and one on the season. Meantime, Capital suffers its first loss of the young campaign. They are now two and one. We'll be back with the final statistics from this game as we will put a bow on this at the Capital Center. Again, the final score, Ohio Wesleyan 67, Capital 65. You have been watching a presentation of Capital Men's Basketball on athletics.capital.edu. A final score from the Capitol Center today as Ohio Wesleyan ends up defeating Capitol by a final of 67 to 65. I'm Charlie Daniels. Let's go ahead and take a look at the statistics of this game, beginning with the team statistics. Ohio Wesleyan shooting 42% from the field, Capitol 44% from the field. Ohio Wesleyan goes 7 of 23 from three point range, good for 30%. Capitol 4 of 19, good for only 21%. Free throws. Ohio Wesleyan, 16 of 19, good for 84%. Capital, 13 of 18, good for 72%. Capital ends up out-rebounding Ohio Wesleyan, 37 to 30. Other statistics of note, assists, Capital 14, Ohio Wesleyan 9. Turnovers, Capital 17, Ohio Wesleyan 11. Bench points, Capital with a big advantage, 22 to 5 in favor of the Comets. Walks, Ohio Wesleyan 2, Capital 1. Fast break points, Capital 15, Ohio Wesleyan 7. Steals, Ohio Wesleyan 9, Capital 5. Points off turnovers, Ohio Wesleyan 17, Capital 12. Points in the paint, Capital 36, Ohio Wesleyan 24. And second chance points, Capital 9, Ohio Wesleyan 6. Individual statistics look like this. Got to start with Jack Clement. The senior from Bell Fountain, Ohio, was spectacular offensively. 36 points. He shot 13 of 21 from the field, good for 62%. Four of nine from three, good for 44%. And a perfect six of six from the foul line as well. Also having a big game offensively for the Bishops today, Henry Hinkle. 21 points for the sophomore from Powell, Ohio. Five of 11 from the field, good for 46%. Two of five from three, good for 40%, and a perfect nine of nine from the foul line. Not bad for a guy who came into this game shooting 31% from the field. He certainly brought his A game from an offensive standpoint. The rest of the scoring for Ohio Wesleyan looked like this. David Rice had four points for the battling bishops, only one point for Grant Spicer, three points for Reese Mitchell, and two points for Curtis White. Meantime, for the Comets, leading score for Capital today was Dom Mayerly. Dom had 13 points. He shot 6 